Hey guys, it's Manda. I'm back with another comedy reaction, and this time it's to Daniel Sloss. I'm not sure if he's American, English, Irish, Scottish. I've not seen or heard any of his comedy, so I'm really looking forward to this. And we are going to watch the difference between US and UK crime. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram at UK and give me a follow. It's where I post all about my life and what I'm up to. And I really enjoy connecting with you all on there. So come on over and check out my fun, playful side. The side you don't get to see on YouTube. It's nice to be back in America. Uh, like what you've done with the place. <laughs> Seems to be going well. <laughs> You're all tense. It's fine. I still get tense about my country. I'm from Scotland. I like explaining Scotland to some Americans. I'm like, I'm from Scotland. Ah, oh, so you're English. The opposite of what you just said. <laughs> Stupid Canadians. <laughs> Scotland has been a bit, not necessarily <laughs> that, but obviously you know us from one movie. Don't say train spotting. <laughs> the other one, Braveheart. Remember that whole movie where we chanted about how awesome we thought freedom was? Freedom, freedom. And then we had a vote on freedom and we were like, eh. <laughs> I don't like it anymore. <laughs> I preferred it when Mel said it. <laughs> I'm trying to be more politically engaged. I just can't. The news confuses me. Not only does the news confuse me, people who watch the news confuse me. They talk in riddles. All my friends are like, Daniel, don't watch the news. The news is lying to you. And I'm like, all right, cool. Who told you that? The other news. <laughs> this is already more complicated than House of Cards. <laughs> I think the news gives too much information, and I'm very aware that that sounds like something an idiot would say, but welcome to my comedy. <laughs> like, it's just too, it's very, very confusing. I, I, I get... Don't even get scared by the news. I get jealous of people that get scared. Because if you get scared by the news, that means you understand what's going on. President says something, you're like, oh no. I'm like, what did he say? <laughs> I watch the news like I've just joined in on season seven of Game of Thrones. <laughs> just there on the couch with my friends being like, who's this guy? <laughs> Is he a bad guy? <laughs> oh, we don't know. Cool, cool. <laughs> what about her? Is she a bitch? She looks like what I thought, so I called her, I called her. So they like kill each other and stuff? They have sex? No, they don't. No, they don't. Who's he having sex with? Putin, no way. It's like, very tense, nice. It's like, like, like watching news over here in America. It's just, it's insane. I feel there's too much information on the news sometimes, right? I was watching, last time I was over here, a man had murdered two people in a park, right, with a gun. It's important to point that out. It's the difference between my country and yours. We have violence in the UK. It's just a bit more... <laughs> stabby. <laughs> and obviously stabbing's bad, but for me, I prefer it. It's a bit more honest. <laughs> right? Any, I could be killed from across the street with a gun, right? Never have any idea who did it. But if I get stabbed, like, I'm willing to take up to 40% of the blame for that. <laughs> <laughs> like, some of that is on me. Like, you wanted to stab me more than I didn't want to be stabbed at some point. Like, you got better cardio, you were hiding in a tree, you've earned the wallet, take it. And it's not a critique, I'm just, it's the differences. I like pointing out the differences. And I'm very aware that sometimes the differences make me sound like the idiot, right? I try to explain to my American friends, we don't have guns in the UK. They're like, really, no guns? I'm like, no, of course not. They're like, what about your police officers? I'm like, of course our police officers don't have guns. <laughs> oh yeah, what do they have? Oh, you know. <laughs> Sticks? <laughs> How do the sticks work? Well, if, if you're being a dick, the police will go, Ay! <laughs> Stop being a dick! <laughs> and 90% of the time, that is enough to make a British person go, Oh, terribly sorry, I do apologize, I was. <laughs> the other 10% of the time, if the dick stick is not enough to deter you from your general dickery, I definitely went over my budget on the word dick there. <laughs> right, that's when police officers in Britain will get serious. They'll go into their inside pocket, bring out a pen. Oh, now you're screwed. Oh, our police officers might not take your life, but they will take your name. <laughs> and give it to your mum, and that's worse than death in my experience. <laughs> I go to a place called Fife in Scotland, mm -hmm. right? Quite violent Fife. My favorite statistic about Fife is that you are not more likely to be stabbed in Fife than anywhere else in the world. But... If you are stabbed in Fife, you're more likely to be stabbed repeatedly. <laughs> because when we commit a crime, we commit <laughs> to that crime. So this man, he'd murdered two people <laughs> in a park, right? I think we can all agree, by and large, dick move. <laughs> Thoroughly not cool, Stephen, real not cool. He went to prison for 15 years. That's the whole story. 
That's the whole story. I gave you the entire story there in less than five seconds. 45 minutes. I watched this newscaster give irrelevant information about the murderer that didn't affect the story. The man who murdered the two people was described by his neighbors as a marijuana smoking porn hoarder. <laughs> Don't make me like him. <laughs> like those are very mixed signals. <laughs> you started off by saying he was a dick, now he sounds cool. <laughs> oh, I liked the bit when you talk about jumping in on a season of a show that you're not watching made me laugh because I can be so guilty of that. I'll watch a show for five minutes that someone's watching and it usually draws me in. So I'll sit down and I'll ask those annoying questions because I really want to know what's going on. And I'm very aware that's an annoying trait, but yeah, it's just one of those things, I suppose. But I think as far as his bit went, my favorite bit was about the pew pews and the sticks because there is such a massive difference between the two countries and it works. Well, well, for the most part, say in the US, if all of a sudden people, the police start using sticks, a lot of people probably end up getting hurt because well, criminals don't carry those. But I just like when people put a lighthearted spin on quite a serious subject. I, I just think it's fun. Um, but overall, did I think he was the funniest comedian I've come across? No, but maybe I just need to watch a bit more. So let me know some of his other skits that you think are good. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video.